That's called paper. My name is Alan Wirehead, and I'm about to take you on an emotional and inspirational journey led not only by myself, but also by two wonderfully colourful characters known as Warren and Bradley Gleet. The story of the Gleet brothers spans two and a half decades. In this time, they've experienced the trials and tribulations of truly tortured men. Their story is a roller coaster ride of pain and emotion. Their story captures the very essence of what it is to hope, dream and wonder what one day may be. Their story will break your heart. This is the Gleet Brothers. This thing's fucking broken. Have you even already done to this guitar, Warren? Fucking hell. Bradley. Busted. Hey. Oh, good day, no Al. No problems. Good day. No, no problems. None whatsoever, mate. Oh, good. Well. We'll start shooting soon. Uh, we'll set up by the car and um, take some shots of you on top of the bonnet, sitting on the bonnet. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. Uh, can we just start by you telling us what the song's about? Well, the lyrics say it all, Alan. The lyrics really do say it all. As you know, Warren isn't a man of many words, but when he does speak, the words that swim out of his mouth, they, they could paint a thousand stories. Okay, so perhaps then you could tell us the story behind the song. Well, the story behind the song, well, it's, as you probably know, it's Warren's second song that he ever wrote, and it's about, it's about our eternal quest for our, search for our father. Um, it's about commitment, and it's about dedication. Okay, so yeah. did he leave you at a young age? Yeah, he did. He left, War Warren was 30 months old, and I was just uh, under two months old. Yeah. Okay. And um, basically, it's about that feeling that void that's been left between us since the day that he left us. Yeah. Uh, so Warren wrote it. Uh, is that what he's trying to say with his lyrics? Yes, he, that's what he is trying to say with the lyrics. Uh, basically, he's trying to say, come back, Dad. Where are you, Dad? He's also trying to say, who are you, Dad? And we love you, Dad. It's, un it's unfortunate, but we ha like we haven't seen him since the day that he brought us here. Like so, we don't we never got to meet him. Okay. Yeah. So the, you know the questions that you, you've got to ask. You know. Uh, so if you do ever find him, or he comes back, will you forgive him? Absolutely. There'll be um, absolutely Warren. Help me out of the screen, mate. Just keep one walking around. Um, yeah, total forgiveness. There's no resentment or animosity here. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that what happened to us, but it's, it's no one's fault. And what happened to mum was no one's fault. But um, basically what we're trying to create here with the, the film clip is a vehicle for us to communicate with our father. And if, he, if he's out there and he sees this film clip, he might be able to, he'll look at it and say, these are, these are my children. I've got to find these kids. Okay. Is that a well, flower, Warren? Can I? Thank you. Would you? Would you? Would you like? Would you think Alan might like the flower? Take, you take the flower back then. Uh, Sorry, Alan. Yeah. You're right. uh, would you both like to um, maybe take the opportunity now to send a message to your father? Absolutely. We're gonna be able to send a message to Dad. If you're out there, Dad. Come back. We love you. Warren and I forgive you.
dreams of the day we meet. The day we meet in New York, in New York, in Japan, in Japan. I dream of the day of that the I day meet the man. That he meets the man. Thank you, Warren. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. oh, that's disgusting, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> 